Uh, it's worth noting, favored going yes. into this is Mystery. Yes, for sure. Uh, he has been performing really well lately. He's been performing well since forever. Yep, um, but I think Zuitsun on Mystery actually might have an even set count and maybe might even be Zuitsun on Seiru because he has actually taken quite a bit of sets off of Mr. E, but regardless, Zuitsun on over committing with a dash attack right onto Mr. E's shield, and as a result, getting parry punished and taking 36% for it. I like the fact that Mr. E saw him charging with the Phantom, and he's like, okay, I'm just gonna be out of Phantom range. Yeah. I am not going to engage when that's a possibility. I have no reason to contest with him at this range. I can just play back, take it easy a little bit, and look at that, he has 101%. He yeah. has full stage control, but Zutsun is able to get back with a really beautiful space roll. I love the DI on Mr. E, making sure that he won't get hit by the aerial, I have okay. to say, FD is really good for Mr. E in this matchup, yes. as we're already seeing. As opposed to, uh, you know, in the previous set we saw, it's not so much about, you know, getting out of the corner, it's more about getting down from the sky. Yes. So many of these damage, so much of the damage is just from these juggles that Mr. E is able to do so consistently. When you're playing against him, you have to know that's Ooh. what you're to expect. And uh, an unfortunate SD right there from Zero to None, really at a time where he could not afford it. Um, this is looking like you know, it might even be a three stock for game one. Um, ooh, I love that punish. He was like knowing, okay, Zutsun is super super anti to back up any kind of police action. So you're not going to oh, do it. Oh my, he two frames him on the... V <laughs> that was just okay. beautiful stuff from Mystery. How much damage did he take that entire game? Oh my god. It was the like recording 40. so far is like a minute and a half. That was, he took 26% the entire game. So, so many things, like... Please don't go back to FT. Okay, he's not. Good. Zero to none. Got not impi okay, thank you so much to Pondagabod for the continued subscription. We really, really appreciate you. But something with Zero to none is he got Mr. E caught on to the fact that he was a little bit impatient. So he got that dash, uh, he got the dash back into the grab on the down air. When he threw him off stage, he was like, hey, what's going to happen if... He really wants to get back to the stage, he wants to up immediately, and was able to time the down out accordingly, but going into game two. Now one thing that did kind of work well for Zero Tonight, at least at the beginning of that game, was he started using the half-charged Phantom as a pseudo-disjoint. You know, yes. like, just throw it out there. Because if you have it half-charged, it comes out pretty quickly, decent range, to the point where you can probably challenge a Lucina coming at you. So and right away, like the momentum in this game is completely different. Zero has all the stage control he wanted, but gave it up just to charge Phantom a little bit more. And not able to get the parry punish with the falling now, choosing to up with the wow, S smash. Wow, what a spot dodge! Just great awareness from Mr. Immaculate timing as well. Oh, that man, that that uh, Ferrari wing is so strong. Second AP kill so early, as you saw right there. Um, but 52%. There isn't a lot he has to fear. Yeah. I mean, maybe in. I don't know Delta's elevator kill percents in this game. Uh, it might be 15 more percent. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you just see Zutsun on like losing so much percent because at times he's like over committing to dash attack in his set. Um, I feel like that's definitely something he has to be a lot more patient on. The Jin's fire just like stopping Mr. E from setting up a ledge trap. Just like so good to force a defensive option from him. Um, getting the tech roll, uh, getting the roll back onto stage. Reed with the up tilt. Yeah, some great DI from Zero Nine is keeping him alive, and he needs to stay alive. Right yeah. as I say that, the dash, the pivot F tilt, mm -hmm. which is basically just better dash attack yep. for Marcina. It kills. It's it's far less committal, goodness. And, oh yeah. And, <gasps> He was going through something a little bit early there, but Zero is able to make it back successfully. And this is a very strange like stage to choose as a teleport character, considering that you have the limited recovery options, but the F smash. So uh, I, people complained about the stage because if you up e at a certain place, you'll just die. If you up e but, and under the lip, you will bounce yeah, off. Yeah, of but it's the sort of thing where players who play, you know, the people who main teleport characters over time just got better at it. Yep. I see Palu's counterpick to the stage now. Because mm -hmm. uh, as long as you know where to not do it, then everywhere else is fair game. But I feel like that just makes your recovery just like one little extra tick predictable. Just because it's like, okay, now we know for the fact that you can't recover from here or else he's just gonna flat out die. So it just kind of like narrows your options well, a little does, bit. Does the opponent know where he actually can't recover from? Against Mr. E, who has so much experience fighting both Palutinus and Zeldas, that's definitely going to be the case. Maybe not so much for other opponents, but regardless, Zero Tsun opting for an aggressive recovery back onto the stage. Mr. E trying to punish with a dash attack, but Zero Tsun not able to get the shield on time. And right now, he was trying to read a jump out of shield with a forward but not getting it. Now, one thing to really note here 
I don't think Mystery has really gotten ledge traps this game. Normally, that's one of Zelda's best characteristics. Mm -hmm. She's able to do such a good job of covering options, but Mr. E has been, for the most part, kind of getting off ledge for free. Yep. And right now, Mr. E is just like trying to catch it. It's not jumping out of shield, and it's going to be super, super tough for him to try to get back onto stage. I love the fact that Mr. E positioned himself on top of the platform just in case uh, Zillitsunan went through something a little too aggressive, a little too hasty, and going back onto stage. But that, I believe, was the... How did he close out the stop? Uh, that was just good patience. Yep. Uh, I think he went for a whip's grab, mm -hmm. and he punished with the back air. Mr. E, in a once again commanding position, maybe not as commanding as game one, considering he's taken more than 29%, but 110 on Zillitsunan's last stock here. It's looking like, like he's going to clean this out. In. But yep. just still getting the regular bad game. Wow. The game one was extraordinarily convincing. In game two, yeah, you know, Zayutin was definitely doing so, super, super well in the first half, but he lost his stock to goodness. I can't even remember how he lost his stock a game uh, stock two. Uh, stock two was the back air at stock ledge. Two, two of those air. stocks were back air at ledge. Yep.